All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon back with another video. So for this video, what I want to do, I want to do an unboxing here. And I listened to your guys' comments on the last video. I'm going to be using the mic again, the professional mic for this one, not just the iPhone uh, audio. So we got that going. So in this video, I want to do an unboxing. This is a box of cards that one of my subscribers sent to me, uh, Corey. Corey was a subscriber of my main channel, Nick Strength and Power, and also a, sub a subscriber over here on the Pokemon channel, so I appreciate him. We're going to open that first. And here we have the cards from PokeRev's opening, um, where I paid the $2,500 for the uh, base set, jungle, and fossil. So base set unlimited, jungle first edition, and fossil first edition pack. So those cards are in here. Um, he got those shipped out really, really quickly, so shout out to PokeRev. But first, I want to go through these cards right here. Um, this really means a lot to me, by the way. So thank you again to Corey for sending these cards in. So let's see what we got here. He sent me in a base set two Mewtwo, one of my favorite card artworks, by the way, this original Mewtwo artwork. Um, I love this card. And of course, the legendary collection non hollow Charizard. So he knew that I love Charizards. And he sent me one from his personal collection, and that means the world to me. I really, really appreciate this. I thought it was so cool when I got his email um, saying he wanted to send me his art, and he sent me this extra stuff too, which I really do appreciate. So show some love in the comment section below for Corey. Shout out to Corey, man. He also sent me these cards here. So let's see what we got. These look like base set unlimited cards as well. Magikarp, Charmander, Charmeleon. Gotta love it. Kadabra. Poliwag from base two, Poliwhirl, Cyndaquil, one of my other favorite starter Pokemon, Growlithe, Tauros, and Kabuto. So again, thank you and shout out to Corey. These are going to go in my personal collection as well. Not going to sell them, of course, not going to get them graded. They're just going to go in my personal collection. I'll probably do a binder um, of fan submissions or fan cards um, and just keep them in my personal collection because these are the kind of memories that I like. So we'll open up Pokey Rev's box here next. Now, one thing I thought about, so I'm using the mic for this video. If I use this mic for pack openings, one thing to consider here is the mic is not going to pick up the sound of the packs being open. Now, I know some of you guys watch pack openings for the like the entire experience. If you guys can't afford a pack or you guys, um, you know, if you guys aren't buying the pack yourselves, you want the whole pack opening experience. So one thing to consider um, is this mic probably isn't going to p uh, pick up the sound of the packs being open. So I don't know if you guys care about that or not, but that's some feedback I wanted to get from you guys in the comment section below. Um, if I use this mic for pack openings, my voice is going to sound better, of course, but um, you're not going to hear the sound of the packs being open with the with the iPhone audio, and that's one of the reasons I use the iPhone on the McDonald's pack videos, you can hear the packs being open. And I thought to some people uh, that might be important. So here's the cards from PokeRev. Again, this is base set, jungle, first edition, and fossil first edition. Let me move this box over here. All right. How do you get this bad boy open? Probably up here, right? All right. So again, shout out to PokeRev, man. These actually came uh, like a week ago. So he, he got these sent out pretty quickly here. Nick M, 9021. There's that infamous Beedrill on the front. So just in case you guys were wondering, PokeRev streams are legit. He does send you your cards. Um, and I'm pretty happy about that. I've got a bunch of cards on the way from another streamer, Pokey Kobe. I might do an opening of those since he sent me seven pounds of cards total. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we'll see what we got here. Let me put this card down so you don't see it. So he sleeved up the Beedrill. So the Beedrill was uh, my rare from the Unlimited pack, not a Charizard. I want to rip it, but I just can't bring myself to rip a uh, Unlimited card. Flareon was my rare from the Jungle pack. Flareon is actually one of my favorite artworks as well. It's not a hollow, but it is a first edition. All right, so we got Shelter, Omnimite. These are fossil cards, I think, right? Yeah. Krabby, Mysterious Fossil, Geodude, Zubat, Golem, Kingler, Slowbro, Nidoran. So these are the, f these are, yeah, these are the jungle cards. Nidoran, Rhyhorn, Cubone, Spearow, that Pikachu. I'll put that boy in a sleeve. Pokeball, that Eevee. We should probably sleeve that up too. Rhydon, Rapidash. All right, need arena, and here is the uh, base set cards. Damn, he didn't put Squirtle in a sleeve. 
Squirtle was my favorite card to get from the whole opening. I got to sleeve up Squirtle as well. War Turtle. He didn't put War Turtle on his Come on, Pokerev. Energy, Energy, Nidoran, Ghastly, Potion, Staryu, and a Seal. Okay. So I need to sleeve up those cards. I'm sorry for that. I just accidentally hit the camera and now it's shaking. All right. Calm down. I got one of these. Uh, the tripod that I've got this thing on is kind of shaky. I might need to get a new one. So the hollow card that I got was from Fossil. That was the only hollow that I got out of these three packs. First edition Magneton hollow from Fossil. Now I'm probably, the funny thing is I'm probably not going to send this card into PSA. I'm probably only going to send in the base set Squirtle, War Turtle, and possibly the Pikachu. So here's the packs. We did get this. So this was the big hitter for me. So we got the Fossil pack with Lapras. The Jungle Pack with Scyther, which is probably my favorite Jungle Pack artwork. But most importantly, the base set, original artwork, Charizard. I love this artwork. In fact, I've got two. I'll show these in an upcoming video, actually. Part of my personal collection. I don't have very many PSA cards that I've collected. But two cards that I have is the Japanese Charizard promo card that came with that Pokemon CD. I believe it's called like the Japanese promo number six or something. Um, I've got two of those in a PSA 10. I picked them up for around 500 bucks each. Um, and now they're worth like well over $1,000 each. So I'm pretty happy with those. But they are this exact same artwork. I love this Charizard artwork. So I was happy to be able to get these packs. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to sleeve up these cards. That is going to wrap it up for this unboxing. Um, actually, I could I could show you guys some other cards that I've got here from a different YouTuber. So yeah, let me, let me get these put away. And I will show you guys what I've got from uh, another YouTuber that I bought from named Stacked Collectors. So Stacked Collectors is a guy, I believe he has about 100 subscribers. I bought a lot of different packs from him. Primarily, I've been buying from him the uh, Tops, the Pokemon Tops pack. So not these uh, Pokemon trading cards from Wizards of the Coast. They are the, those full art like Tops cards. I'll show you guys in a minute what I mean. Have a look at the Squirtle here. This is the main card that I'm wanting to uh, send to PSA. Now, if this comes back in a PSA 10, I believe it's worth about $500 to $1,000. It looks like it's in really good shape. Zach, if you're watching this, my best friend Zach, he told me he was getting into watching some of the Pokemon videos. Now, Zach, if you're watching this, if this card comes back in a PSA 10, this will be your wedding present this fall. PSA 10 base set Squirtle. How about that? I know that's your favorite Pokemon, so I know I'm great, right? Zach, you better give me a thumbs up for that. And I'm not going to tell Zach I said that. Zach, you got to watch this video to find out that you're getting that Squirtle. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to give it to you unless you comment about this video. All right, so now that that's out of the way, I want to show you guys these cards that I got from Stack Collectors. I think there were only two packages. There might have been one more. Okay, yeah, these are the two. So, as you can see, we've got some pretty good cards in here. Let me get these centered a little bit more. So we'll start with the tops card since I was just talking about that. Shout out to stat collectors, by the way. Very nicely packaged from stacked. So I forget what packs these are from. We'll go through just some of the main hits here. I think he sleeved up the hits um, and packages that he sent me before he put the hits in a separate package. So that's probably what these are right here. So the Charizard. God, I love this card, man. I'll be getting that graded for sure. Oh, Zach, here we go again, man, with a, a hollow Squirtle from Tops. So all of these starter cards from Tops, I'm going to be sending those to get graded as well. We got a Persian. Did I just gloss over the Venusaur? So there's the Venusaur right there. I didn't mean to gloss over you. Sorry, big guy. We got a hollow Persian, a hollow Ratata. A hollow Moltres, or not a non-hollow Moltres, but sick artwork on that Moltres. And again, sick artwork on this Scyther. So I don't think I don't think these were hits. Or maybe they were, because they're in hard cases and these aren't. So we'll go through these hits as well. Stacked has been the man so far for pulling me good cards from tops. He's really been one of the only YouTubers that I found that has those Pokemon top cards. So we got a Vaporeon. This is a non-hollow, non-hollow. Ivysaur, Kadabra, 
We've got the Lapras uh, pop-out card. I believe that was a rare one to get. Aerodactyl, that's a sick artwork. I think this is uh, Series 2 for the Tops cards. A Hollow Staryu. A Magikarp. Stage Fight card. What do we have here, then? So these are the these are the packs that came in. You guys might be familiar with these Tops packs. All right, so that was just kind of, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a brief overview. You guys might not be familiar with Stacked, but I wanted to show you guys what I got from his channel. Now, I want to show you guys this other bag because we're going to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! a little bit on this channel um, in upcoming videos. So I want to show you guys some of the pools that I got from this other bag here. So this was extremely lucky. I've opened, uh, how many Blue Eyes packs have I opened on his channel? He was selling a Legend of Blue Eyes pack for like $35.00. For a single pack, not from a not from a booster box, but out of a blister, just a just a random blister pack. So I opened one. Here, we'll get this bad boy open. So this particular night, I only opened one pack, or maybe I opened two, or maybe this was two separate streams and he just shipped them together. But this particular night, I only opened one pack of Legend of Blue Eyes, and the card that I got, Ultra Rare Exodia, the Forbidden One. We're definitely going to send that to get graded. Polymerization, that must have been from another pack. I bought a couple from him, and these were the uh, non-hits. So it looks like we got some more Tops cards in here. And again, as far as Pokemon product is concerned, the Tops cards are another one of those uh, another one of those products that's growing in price and becoming a little bit more out of reach every day. I'm trying to stabilize this tripod. Okay, so every day these are getting a little bit more expensive and a little bit more out of reach. You got a hollow Grimer, a hollow Magnemite. I love this card right here. Are you all okay? You got the Pikachu, the Mander, the Squirtle, and the Bulbasaur. And this hollow card, I don't really remember this episode, but okay. So these are some more hits. Like I said, man, I have a whole nother package somewhere else that I've already... Uh, I've already put in my PSA pile. So I, I've been transferring these over to a card saver cases, the semi-rigid cases to send to PSA. And I think the other tops hits I've already put in my PSA box um, to be sent out for my next submission. So in this one, we've got this, uh, I don't know what you call this, but it's kind of a pop out um, Alakazam there. A hollow Hitmon Lee, a hollow Cloister. Let's see. I think these might, now there are some hitters in here. Because there's some hard cases in here. Let's see. Shout out to Stack, man. He packaged these really, really well. All right, let's see. No, no, they're not hard cases. So let's go through a real quick, uh, let you guys get some, get an idea of what these cards look like. There's another Are You All Okay non hollow. All right. Ooh, I love this episode. One of the saddest episodes in Pokemon history where the Charmander is sitting on the rock because his trainer abandoned him and he's trying to, uh, it's raining. He's trying to keep his tail flame from going out because apparently in that dark episode of Pokemon, if his tail flame goes out, he dies. That's what they said in the episodes. That's kind of dark. Kind of set him aside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a unique artwork for Executor. All right, you guys get it. I didn't want to go on too long with these. I just wanted to show you guys some of the cards I got back from Stack. So this is a little bit of a mail day video for you guys to see kind of what uh, what my mailbox looks like in a typical week getting some of these Pokemon cards back. It's usually chaos. I've got all kinds of stuff to sleeve up, all kinds of stuff to put in binders. So maybe I'll do like a, a once a week video where I just do kind of a mail unboxing of some of the cards that I've gotten from various streams. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see that. I'll just do one mail video a week and lump all the cards into one video just so you guys can see what I'm adding to my personal collection that week. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Pokemon signing out.